My name is Robert McFarlane. I was born in 1942. Uh, I'm a photographer that uh, has worked as a um, documenter of performance in film and theatre and documenting social issues for over close to 50 years. And um, I've always found it a great challenge to be in there. I've earned my living also through writing. I've been a critic for the Sydney Morning Herald and the Australian before that. And, you know, I, I, write, uh, I write for Art in Australia and Financial Review. Um, and um, I enjoy commentating on photography because it's a really important medium. It's, um, it's the medium that won't go away, you know. We're heading towards 3D, we're heading towards lots of things. But photography is still powerful and can... Uh, well, I was given a camera when I was a kid and uh, I um, love the fact that you could recall experiences through the pictures. And I gradually started taking more and more photographs and uh, someone taught me how to develop pictures. I only contact printed them, but it was, uh, you know, it, was, it seemed like good fun to me. And um, when I went to high school, I got a fairly serious camera made by Durst, the enlarger people. And um, the first picture I took that was of any interest, really, was of our vice principal, Mr. Goldsworthy, slapping a boy at assembly. And I, I was just looking down on it, and I saw it and took the picture. And gradually, I grew sort of more serious about it. Yeah. Well, I was self-taught, which means that um, I had a friend called Dennis Gooden, and we sort of discovered photography together, and we taught ourselves. What we used to do is go up to the uh, magazine store at the top of the railway in Adelaide, and um, they used to get the international magazines, like um, Life magazine and uh, Look. And so we'd, we'd greedily buy these and go back and look at the pictures and work out um, that, you know, we thought we could do pictures like that. Mm. And, and so it turned out that we could, yeah. Most of um, the photojournalism subjects, the documentary subjects that I did, were self-assignments because nobody would give you a crack, you know. And then somebody said to me one day, um, oh, look, they need a photographer at the Old Tote Theatre. And I said, oh, I'll have a go. And also I found that um, I really liked photographing the theatre. I thought, I thought actors, they were, they were a bit like me. They would often have to wait three months before they got another, you know, another job. And, um, and I liked the fact that they were emotionally brave. You know. I specialise in photographing social issues and performance in film and theatre. Um, the two are sort of related really because they're about human activity. A portrait of Charlie Perkins, who was an Aboriginal activist uh, in the 60s and, and went on through the 70s and 80s. He said to me once, um, I had to throw a brick through the window to get people to know what was going on. He had a terrific rapport with his, with his people and his, his life was spent basically trying to make theirs better. As a photographer, I've travelled and uh, went to Russia once and did a story on Soviet Jews that were trying to get out of Russia uh, because they had um, decided they wanted to emigrate to Israel and the Russians didn't like that. In 73 they didn't like it. And I heard about it in London and I was working for a magazine that used to get me to do really cliched stories like celebrities that ride motorbikes and all that crap. And I read this about these people and um, basically uh, I it was like a light went off, you know, in my head. So I found out how to get to them and I went and did the story. Uh, that's, I mean, that was the central idea of, of the photography that I um, was sort of self-trained to do. I started photography when, um, long before digital was even thought of. And um, I learned to, you know, bulk load and process and print black and white films, basically using, you know, my own skills which are pretty basic but quite functional and um, continue with that until the digital era really. When it came I, I sort of knew something 
important was happening. And as I looked at um, the results that I'd see other friends had achieved, uh, I could see that in some ways digital was going to be better. Um, for example, uh, digital was always you know, getting better and better in low light. And part of being a photographer is uh, to um, you know, be able to function in low light. And uh, so eventually I switched and never looked back. You know. At my age, and because I have mo mobility issues, so to speak, courtesy of a stroke a few years ago, um, I tend to, uh, I can't really do jobs. I can't race around and do jobs. But I can actually do projects if I get assistance. Um, last year I did um, a project in Western Australia where I photographed men and women in recovery from mental illness uh, for a handbook, which is for people that are diagnosed with mental illness. And um, that was fantastic. You know, they're wonderful people and uh, brave people, really. What is photography to me? It's, it's a mirror on life, really. It's um, uh, a way we can understand ourselves and other people um, and communicate that to the rest of the world. And that's the great privilege to be able to do that. If a picture paints a thousand words